Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're gonna clear out the pose at Lake Hylia today and explore the place as promised that I would a couple of parts back. <laughs> I thought I would combine the exploration and the uh, pole quest in one part, so to speak. And hey, how's it going? Yeah, so we have to go to the flight by foul challenge here because there are two poles that we have to get via this challenge here so yeah I've, I, i'm pretty rich so i don't really even need the isle of riches but there's actually one there at nighttime but it's actually important to do a u-turn completely as soon as you jump off this platform i just want to see if i can show you oh, i can't show you can i okay so i'm gonna jump straight off and turn around carefully and hopefully right there that's what you're looking for see that platform that's got a pole on it as you can see it's pretty well hidden actually and yes i will let go <laughs> and there's another kuko here for you to make your flight back i suppose no no i don't want to z target the chicken <laughs> Is that a hidden cave over here too as well? I believe no, that's that's just a digging spot, I think. And there's the first pole soul that we're gonna get here. There are four more left to get in this area. Is this a cave or is it not? Oh, it is a cave. I must have ignored this on other playthroughs, thinking it was just a regular dig spot because it wasn't, you know, large. Well, this is an interesting little place. Good thing that when you're inside, it doesn't change from night to day, otherwise, you know, that would, it would really suck by the time I finish one of these things. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to jump in the water just yet. But I should probably get these out, probably those, and then probably that. Okay. Just gotta... Can I see down there at all? Not very... Whoa! Shell blades. Not very well. Mm. Well, I guess they'll be hanging out there, and I'm just gonna shimmy my way over to the other side. Oh, those those two are also shell blades. I thought those are bombable rocks. That's that might be a problem. Although I might be able to do this like this. Come to think of it, because there's so many arrows around this area, I can't do it, can I? Probably have to be in the water and attempting to attack them. Yeah, I can't. I can't even aim at that angle. I just want to do this safely, if at all possible. I know I can attack them underwater with the, the sword, but it's just not all that safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, that that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be in general. Treasure chest? Yeah, that's what I thought. Probably something I can't pick up once again, as usual. <laughs> Although I am uh, going, going to be burning some rupees by using the Flight by Foul challenge a few times, which works in my favor, and I can't pick that up. <laughs> but it's there if you need it. All right, let's get out of here. And zippy zooda day or what the heck? I don't know what I'm even saying. <laughs> I'm just thinking about if I can fly to the the platform over here. Oh, and it's gonna be daybreak soon. Great, and I'm gonna have to wait for it to be no, it to be. Daytime again. I mean, nighttime again. All right, let's see if I can get the pole on that platform. Ah, I, can't, I don't think I can get it from here. It's it's too far away. Yeah. What a shame. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait until it's nighttime again. See there? There's the pole right there. You just seen it above the uh, the green platform there. Alright, so I'm gonna wait until it is nighttime again, sadly. But what I think I'm gonna do in between cuts is uh, be pro productive and uh, get myself over to 
an easy pole location site, one that I missed beforehand because I was a little bit too slow up by the tower. So I'll see you over there back when it's nighttime. Hmm, that took me a lot less time to get here than I thought. So now I'm just messing around this area. I'm not, I'm not even supposed to climb this tower here. I'm just here because I'm messing around. <laughs> So maybe what I should do while I wait is do something productive. <laughs> ah, that was a nice nap. Oh wait, there it is! Let's get it! Transform into a wolf! You know how to get to this tower by now, I'm sure. I mean, it's impossible. You couldn't possibly not know how to get to this tower by now because you had to come here to for the... One of the main quests in the game to progress. <laughs> so yeah, there's the pole at the base of the tower. That is awesome. And I do not want to wait for it to turn nighttime again. So I'm going to go flop over to the next location. Which I'm just going to backtrace my steps here. Wait, is that? I think... Uh, wait, yeah, I think from here. And then I go over to that area or maybe I got that pole already I could be mistaken ah, come on don't be mistaken PK Gam you are oh, you're burning time <laughs> and that is it over there oh, ah. all right I just gotta make sure I don't fall into the water like that one time ah. Ah, or hit my face on the hill for some reason <laughs> all right you there come down take me on I need your soul! Yeah! Woo! Alright, now I'm going to go over... Uh, I'm going to actually transform into a human because this will be a little bit faster. And swim over... To... See that spot at the lake there? Right where the, my pointer is? Yeah, over there. I believe there's a Poe at that patch of land, so I'm just gonna hug this wall here. Ah, it's so nice underwater. So beautiful. So serene. And there's no fish attacking me. <laughs> Could you just imagine if Boss Bass decided to just flop on over here and that- Oh man, that would not be pretty. <laughs> and... Here we are. Oh, not there yet. Should pay more attention to my map, but I'm almost there. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to get out of the water somehow. <laughs> Come on. Where? Uh, over there, really? You're going to make me burn all this time? <laughs> Dang it, I do not want to wait for daybreak again. It takes like six minutes for it to change from day to night. Alright. Wolf time! Sense! Attack! <laughs> Come on. Down here and... Whoop. And... Whoop. Oh, 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 oh! Dang it! Missed on the second one. I always mess up on the second one. Well, unless there's no second one, like if I were to use the, you know, hold the B button attack of this thingy here, but I don't think about that. I mean, I don't think about using that sometimes. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm gonna do here is take the cannon guy, you know, I'm gonna have him shoot me up towards the uh, Kuko place, the Kuko Flight by Fowl place, and then I'm going to take that down over to the green platform, so I will see you there. Man, here we are! <laughs> so now I'm going to... Preferably plop down here quickly because I do not want to waste more time and pay the admission fee Pay pay now go. Yes, please <laughs> And I got my iron boots out which will be quite handy for landing on that platform. I think So I'm going to aim directly for it Just want to make sure my flight is good. Okay fly iron boots to plummet <laughs> And it should make it a lot easier to get to this platform. I'm gonna try to land on, on the, uh... Oh, maybe I should have tried to get up there just for the fun of it, but whatever. And... Oh, wait, 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 did I... Oh, okay, you're gonna come down here. Whew! I was a little worried that he was gonna stick up there. 
Alright, this is the last pole of the area, and the one, I mean the last pole that I'm gonna get in this, this part as well. Providing it doesn't kill me. <laughs> and I don't fall off the platform. There we go! That is sweet! And yeah, that's pretty much it for the lake now. The whole place is 100%ed for the most part. Ah, the beauty of this place. So much nicer when you don't have to get posed. <laughs> hmm. Sure, what the heck. <laughs> As part of the exploration part of this, I'm going to attempt to get the chests above the uh, um, spirit spring there. I looked, there, it, there appears to be two of them, actually, unless I'm not finding, I mean, unless it's not the chest that you're talking about. Or maybe you didn't notice that there was two up there or something. But anyway, my idea on how to get these chests is pretty straightforward. Just take a Kuko, fly over straight there, and attempt to land on one of those two snake heads down there. Hopefully. <laughs> Just keep going, keep going, unless... It's a lot higher up than I could see from the ground. I scouted out ahead of time. Maybe, maybe not. Wait, I don't... I think that... Yeah, I can only see that and that. I can only see those from the ground. Oh, they're, they're uh, claw shot targets. Ah! Okay. Well, here's this. Maybe, I, maybe I'm able to get that from the, the ground then or something? because I'm able to claw shot from one place to the other, unless that is just the uh, the kind of place this is. I <laughs> I don't know, but I guess there was only one chest over here, unless, unless that's a chest over there. We are about to find out. I'm just gonna climb all over this ancient relic to worship a god of sorts. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there is one here, so I, I wasn't mistaken. And it's a purple rupee. Can this fit in my wallet? Yes, it can! It's about time. <laughs> I mean, it's been such a long time since I've had something that actually fit in my wallet. And I do think that's about it for the... Oh, I guess I could look around there a little more for the exploration of uh, Lake Hylia here. So I guess I'll swim over to that corner again where the pole was. I didn't flop around that area more than I did just because I was kind of strapped for time I, I as I said <clears throat> excuse me as I said I didn't want to wait for um the night to turn into day again because that kind of sucked <laughs> I wonder is it possible to get to any of those like that or those ledges there or something oh great it's turning daytime again <laughs> That means the next time when I start up the game, I'm gonna have to wait for it to turn nighttime again. And the last poles in the game are in the desert area. Uh, I should be exploring this as a wolf, because for all I know, there is uh, um, hidden caves around this area as well that I should be sensing, per se. I'm just gonna chop the grass first as normal human link here before I move on to wolf form. Okay, wolf form. <laughs> Just see. I, I doubt there will be anything here. I could be mistaken though. Is this? Yeah, it's just a regular dig spot. I'm sure these are as well. And I picked up a blue rupee off camera, so I won't tell you the amount. Sorry. And you know, just in case you forgot the amount of the blue rupees. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that's about it, actually. So... Wait, actually... I said actually twice there, but whatever. I'm gonna... See if there's a way up on... Nah, I don't think there's a way up on this ledge. This ledge appears to be decorative. See how it's right at the edge of the map? Yeah. So, it, it looks like a place that you could walk around on, but you actually can't. And that concludes this Lake Hylia video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go to the desert. Oh, dang it, I forgot I can't climb up here. Ah!